G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade and welcome back to another look at a spectacular VR table by none other than the VP Workshop team and this is MF Doom just remember all caps and guys again I'm stunned I'm, I'm even more stunned if it's possible with this because it's a fully original table and I think this is the first <clears throat> original table that I have covered from VP Workshop um, on the channel and you know I have played some of their other ones as well but this is well they're all stunning but this is something else this is something else now mf doom i have to be honest with you guys i had to look it up <laughs> and uh yeah a american british rapper hip hopper and a bit of a history there um and dr death was his uh, his thing and that's why he wears the uh Dr. Doom, sorry. Um, that's why he wears the mask. But I wasn't aware of his music. And this table is released, uh, obviously without the copyrighted music with it, but they have a list where you can go and get that music. Um, you would need to pay for it, of course, and then add it to the table. Uh, alternatively, you can obviously add your own music and for today's session guys I've I've had to put some non-copyright music only because obviously I'm doing this on YouTube so so there isn't actually any MF Doom music playing but I have some sort of rap non-commercial uh, non-copyright music going on in the background so just be aware of that the music will be different um, guys I know you were sort of probably want to get straight into to to playing this but it, it, you need to realize that again this is seriously a work of love and the amount of detail attention to detail I mean I have to talk about it just for a little bit because geez the amount of code actually in this game if you go into the script it was ridiculous I think it was like 38,000 lines of code now some of that obviously would be comments commented out areas some of it will be you know functions that are repeated and used in other tables but it, I, I can imagine a sheer majority of it is all new and scripted for this specific table and that's an enormous amount of work guys enormous amount of work and then don't get me started on this beautiful sensational artwork this is I think the best artwork I've seen on an original VPX table and the, and the interesting thing about it is that it's not actually overly complex when you look at it it's actually just got some <coughs> key elements to the design that work so beautifully the colors selection and just the choice of art and the just the overall design and working in with the lighting it's spectacular guys it's absolutely spectacular hats off to the people person did the artwork on this and I don't have the full list of people in front of me guys um, I have a link to the table in the description below please read their comments uh, for the origination of this table it was developed by someone else before the VP workshop team got their hands on it and ended up completing it um, you can see all that information there and all the people that were involved and I just you know I'd recommend thanking them in that thread I always provide my thanks and perhaps in a more personal way through these videos but please uh, guys if you download this table and you li love it then please make that known to these authors because they've spent an incredible amount of time on this um, again this artwork and the color choices is just sublime 
just sublime. And then you get down to like the inserts guys in here and you see like these are 3D inserts. You know, the text is elevated above the inserts. It's just beautiful LED display, very reminiscent of, you know, a, a Jersey Jack sort of table. Plays like a stern. You know, this easily, side art too, all caps on that side, this easily, guys, could be an actual real commercial table. It's stunning. It not only looks good, it plays beautifully. And the lighting is unreal. And talking of the lighting, there's this little flasher, uh, this little red flasher in the middle here. And I, I don't know, yeah, that when it blows like that, I don't think it's going to come across in the camera. When you're in VR, that thing flashes so bright, it's like having HDR in, in the headset, guys. I, 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 I don't even know how they're doing it. Um, but every time it flashes, goes off, it, it's actually yeah, it's triggering a lot of the other lights as well all at once. Such a cool effect. Um, and, you know, and as you're playing it, the lighting in this table and these flasher effects in particular, this is the right way to do flasher effects. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. So with all of that said, guys, and again, I apologize. I haven't even talked about the fact that we've got a cool pup pack on the back with great video, and it's really nicely integrated into the table. Um, but yeah, with, with all of that said, the overall theme of this as well, to choose this particular hip-hop rapper uh, for this table and the history that, they ha that, that he has and um, his uh, Dr. Doom association. Like, this is the perfect table, perfect theme for a table. Uh, it beats the pants of some of the selections of themes that some of the real pinball makers are choosing. Like, this is awesome. A hip-hop theme, even if you don't like hip-hop guys, you know, we have some sort of... Uh, grassy sort of stuff and paraphernalia associated to that um so it is a little bit you know on the uh the adult side i guess uh but just so beautifully done blunted again fantastic so many nice details guys i can't get over it all right guys well let's get into the gameplay uh, i sincerely hope you didn't skip all this uh, beginning stuff it it's it's just beautiful, and these guys deserve so much credit. Can't believe we're getting these tables just free into the community for the amount of work. I don't... I can't be more thankful. So let's get in and play this beautiful table. Now, guys, I've set myself up a little bit back. The view is always a little shorter in the video than it is in my headset, so I, I know I have to be conscious of that. And hopefully this view works out well for everyone. Put some coinage in. Just getting those three drop targets, and then we get this beautiful purple lighting through here. Guys, it just looks sensational. Um, and I am using one of the LUTs that are available through the Magna Save. We are straight into a multi ball. Spinning smoke. The layout is really, really nice. It flows 
looks so nice, this table. Little smoke effects around the top there. Man, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, center pin too, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Except when it does that. And again, the beautiful thing about that is I knew with that angle that it wasn't going to pop back up just in the final milliseconds. And that's the beauty of the physics, right? This plays so much like a stern, a new stern. The ball movement, everything. The flipper, flipper power. It's just such a, a seriously cool theme to have hip hop. <laughs> Never sort of really considered it for pin. Um, but what a great idea. And I must admit, my, my uh, tracks are a little bit sort of rap, trap, industrial, rather than hip, hip, hip hop per se, but still works. Oh, I did it again. It still works beautifully. It was just on the slight angle that was not going to come off the center pin. And again, this pup pack, beautifully integrated. It's going to be hard for me to capture it as we go through but the art and everything they've done for that is well worth the effort in getting the pup pack going. I'm not usually a big fan on pup packs um, because I feel like you know all the action is on the table and that's where you should be looking. But I am sort of changing my view on that with just some of the, the quality of some of these pup packs and how they integrate with the overall experience and I think for an original table, they are essential just for the overall impact. And you know, given a lot of the brand new tables that are being released, the real tables have video integrated. You know, it, it's, it's what makes this table look like it's come straight out of a factory. I'd be more than happy having this as a real table. Doom never loses. And, if, and if anyone saw it, they wouldn't question it. If they'd just go, oh, it's just, a, you know, it's just the latest Stern release. So I have started up another game. And of course, if you if you aren't playing this in VR, or even if you are, um, if you're playing it any other way, having a really good speaker set up and sub bass is essential with this sort of music going on. Yeah, man, that's just. And you know, I haven't haven't got into looking and learning my way around the table. I do know you have to go after these drop targets in the middle and on the side. There is actually a full PDF of detailed instructions that was created for this table. It, you know, it's literally like unboxing, <laughs> getting a table with a full instruction guide who does that? Who does that? Again, I hope the table is in view. I did have to reposition myself a little. 
Um, by the way, just looking at the different LUTs, you can make it look very different uh, for your colouring choice. That's a bit darker. It's always cool. Um, black and white. So, yeah, you have all those those options, guys. See which one we'll go back to. I think I was one off there, yeah. Some of that one? Oh, we'll, we'll go with that anyway. Might be a little yellow tinge, let's go to this one, get a little bit darker. A little, little bit less saturation, but those lights really kick. Go to this one, we get a little bit more saturation back, I think. But nice and dark. One more hit to start most blended, so I think I've got to get one in there. Yep, that's it. That got the multi ball started. Damn. Go to a real bright mode. Ah. Damn, lost it. Just again, I, 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 oh man, I just, I, I have to pinch myself, man. How is it that we can have this level of quality table and it's just free and it's a VR capable, pin cab capable, desktop capable? Out of control, and it just like. Physics, man, seriously. So good. If I could play a little longer, I could probably hear the track and get into it. <laughs> Gotta go for those middle ones again. Oh man, just that little tip and pass on the flippers. It's just the subtleties. Everything plays like it should. There's never a moment where I go, oh, that's dodgy. Never. Oh. Next shot in world demo domination. Let's uh, get back to a darker look. And I think when I looked at the script, it does do a randomization of the tunes, which is really nice. Uh, and there's 12 tunes, I, I think, if I remember. Um, so there's good good variation there. <laughs> poop up plat a lot. Gas brawl. Yeah, so there's some good variation from the tracks that you've got in there. Uh. 
that was an edible feature from the one that was locked, but I lost my other one straight away, which is a bit of a shame. Man, the colours, look at the colours. Guys, I must admit, I was, I was supposed to do a video on, on the fantastic, beautiful Twilight Zone re release uh, that's still on the, on the list to do. Um, when this came out, I was like, I've got to cover this table. Blown away. Going again. Oh. And guys, I had a problem with my installation and the pup packs weren't showing. And thanks to the the, the guys over at uh, the VR VPX forum. Probably a couple of pointers and I spent an entire night trying to solve my pup pack problem in VR and ended up pretty much doing a reinstall just so I could get this table going with the pup pack. <laughs> I was that like, nah, I gotta, I gotta show this table with everything that's been done to give it justice. And you probably haven't seen much of the pup pack while I've been playing, but you know, it's there guys. And it's beautifully integrated. <laughs> I'm so glad I took that time. Having said that, you can play it without the pup pack. You just have a static back glass. Can't argue that the pinball itself is so awesome anyway. Then have your flex DMD. Coloured, of course. Oh, oh yeah, that's my, that's my center pin. That's what she loves. Hi. And the difficulty, guys, is again, it's just it's believable. It's like it's not frustrating. There's you know, I'm not I'm not a fantastic pinball player, I just enjoy playing. But what I don't enjoy is when there's a table that has horrible janky shots and you know losing balls that's just not even your fault from a skill perspective. And this one ticks all the boxes for awesome flow difficulties nicely balanced fast movement I mean if, if you if you were in a actual pinball manufacturer like Stern and someone you know came to the table and said hey I think we should build this table and here's the mock-up in VR <laughs> um, I don't know what you would change I don't think you would change anything we could just go, yeah, let's manufacture that. God damn, it's so beautiful. Sorry guys, oh man. Oh no, I'm just, I know I'm sounding, I'm gushing again, but oh damn, I can't help it. What do you want me to say, eh? Hey, because.
Oh man. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna stop here. Um, I just yeah, I'm I'm, I'm somewhat speech, speechless. I am somewhat speechless. The blades, simple artwork, so effective, beautiful colouring. Guys, look, we'll, we'll leave it there, and I'm only leaving it here just for the sake of the video. It's probably just got too too long. Uh, thanks for you guys that have stuck around. If you have to the end here, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, lots of cool content coming up. I'll do definitely a lot more of these VR table, uh, not really reviews, but uh, a little bit of a play test. And what a time, what a time to be into virtual pinball. The quality of these releases is just unbelievable. And we're spoiled, we're absolutely spoiled. And look, again, if you don't have VR, these tables beautiful anyway on a cab setup. Cab setup with 3D, even better, uh, with Anaglyph, uh, or even just playing it on the desktop. You will love this table, guarantee it. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, as always, guys. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care until then. For now, it's uh, game over. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.